Hello friends, today we are going to start with a new module that is centroid and center of gravity where basically today in our first part we will just understand what are the main differences between these two words that are centroid and center of gravity. So here I have differentiated these two terminologies point wise in detail where we will quickly move towards our first difference that is definition itself. In case of plane figures, the point where whole area is concentrated is called centroid. So friends, this is our first definition of centroid, which will even become our difference. While if we read regarding center of gravity, in case of solid bodies, the point where whole mass is concentrated is called center of gravity or we would say CG. Where first we talked about centroid, here the whole area is concentrated. In short, if we are having any two-dimensional figure, then if we try to concentrate the entire area of the figure at a single point, then that would be our centroid. But here if we are having a solid body, which could be a three-dimensional body, the point where whole mass is concentrated is called center of gravity. So friends, this is the main difference. Here area is concentrated and here the mass is concentrated. So the point where this area or this mass is concentrated are termed as centroid and center of gravity. So friends, this is our first point. Uh, moving towards the second point, centroid word is used for 2D figures, that two dimensional figures, that is a square, a circle, a rectangle, etc. So these are the two dimensional figures what we just talked about. While if we talk about center of gravity, CG word is used for three dimensional bodies, that is cube, cuboid, cone, sphere, etc. So this simply means that if you are talking about a centroid, then these are having only two axes, X and Y. While if we talk about CG, then we would have all three axes, X, Y and Z. And we know that a cube or a cuboid or a cone or a sphere, all these are having all three axes, that is X, Y and Z. While this square, circle, rectangle has only two axes, X and Y. And now moving towards our last point of difference, that is, uh, it is on the surface, while center of gravity is inside the body yes see friends if we are talking about a two di two dimensional figure then this will always be on the body suppose if we consider this a whiteboard then the point where this both the lines meet that will be at a single point and that will be on the surface that will be on the board while if we are having a cube suppose let us say this kind of cube we are having then if we try to concentrate the entire mass, because it is a three-dimensional body, it would be having some mass. So if we try to concentrate everything uh, uh, inside the body, then point will be somewhere, somewhere here, inside the body. Then we can say that the center of gravity lies always inside the body, while if we talk about a two-dimensional uh, surface, then its center will lie always on the surface. Here even I can show the axis. This is our x-axis, this is our y-axis. And this is why this is known as 2D figure. While if we talk about this figure, this is having X axis, this is having Y axis, and this is even having the Z axis. So friends, that is why this is known as a three dimensional body and the point where the whole mass gets concentrated is known as center of gravity. So friends, these were the differences between centroid and center of gravity. Now if we talk about the logical names, uh, centroid and center of gravity, here the word gravity defines the mass itself. Here we know that uh, if we are having a mass, then uh, the gravitational acceleration of Earth would definitely act on the mass. And that is why it is known as center of gravity, while this word centroid is defined based on the two-dimensional body or we could say surface. That are uh, this examples like square, circle and rectangle. So friends, this is all about uh, differences between centroid and center of gravity. And this was the first part of this topic and wait for the next part. Thank you for watching.